ever feel like you're playing a game of spot the AI with your students' essays? Well, put down that magnifying glass because today we're flipping the script on AI in academia. In the next six minutes, I'm going to show you how to turn this AI hunt into your secret weapon. Spoiler alert, it does not involve becoming AI police. Let's dive right in. Hello, professors and educators. As we move further into 2024, artificial intelligence became an undeniable part of the academic landscape. It's essential we understand not only how students are likely to use these tools, but also how we can adapt our teaching methods to ensure meaningful learning in this new environment. Let's begin by examining the subjects and materials that the students are the most likely to use AI for. Let's start with mathematics and other quantitative fields. Here, AI use is somewhat likely for the take-home assignments. Students might use AI to check their own work, generate practice problems, or even attempt to solve complex equations, even though that'll be more of a challenge. However, in lab and lecture settings, AI use is a lot more rare right now. Due to the immediate nature of the work and the simple fact that without double-checking, AI is still very shaky with numbers. One small hallucination can topple an entire assignment. And a core part of mathematic assignments is showing your work. And you really don't have time to dig out those hallucinations in class. When it comes to written assignments, though, AI use is way more likely for both in-class and take-home work. Writing in general is where we see the most significant impact of AI tools. Students can have ChatGPT running in the background throughout the entire class and it's really helpful. AI can generate topic ideas or help expand on the initial concepts. It can quickly summarize articles or find relevant sources when you're doing research. AI is really good at rephrasing content to avoid plagiarism. And AI is decent at catching grammatical errors and suggestions suggesting overall text improvements. Some students use AI to generate first drafts to build on later. Others literally turn in essays with the words, sure, I'd love to help you. As a large language model, I... Well, you know, not everyone makes wise decisions. He chose poorly. Now let's discuss the tools that students use to make their texts really hard to detect as AI generated. Some popular options include Grammarly, Turnitin, Sapling, and Quillbot. These tools work by analyzing writing styles, suggesting improvements, and even rewriting sentences to sound more natural and human-like. AI writing assistants have access to databases of human-written texts and can mimic writing styles tones, and levels of complexity. So catching AI-written text is becoming harder and harder and harder. It's a real game of cat and mouse. What I personally find really funny is how much effort and energy and time some students are willing to put into going manually through their AI-generated essay to make it sound more human, not realizing that they're doing the work that they were supposed to in the first place, and they're learning in the process, the line gets really blurry. If you want to learn more about the challenges of detecting AI-generated text, you can check out our Turnitin detector video. It might prove useful or, at the very least, interesting. It explores the limitations of current detection tools and discusses the ethical considerations surrounding the use of AI in academia. Check it out in the description. So uh, what if we didn't focus on catching AI just because it's too helpful? What if we found a way to challenge the students in a way that would require all of that extra help and actually learning how to use it well? If you are on board with this idea or you are at least willing to entertain it as a thought experiment. Here is a simple framework you can try on for size. Develop clear guidelines for acceptable use of AI in your course. Something you can always come back to and have an adult conversation about with your students. Create assignments that require students to submit their AI prompts 
together with their work. Show your work now also means show your prompts. Ask students to reflect on how they used AI in their process and what they learned from it. They need to be able to write down exactly when, how and why they used a specific tool and what they achieved with its help. Encourage critical thinking by having the students evaluate and improve upon AI-generated content. There is still a big discrepancy between the best an AI can produce and the best a human can produce when it comes to content. Make sure your students know how to tell apart good and excellent work. This approach not only addresses the detection issue, but it also teaches your students to treat AI as a tool and not as a shortcut. It helps develop their critical thinking and prepares them for a world where AI is an everyday tool in many professions. If you'd like to try this, I recommend checking out our video on integrating AI into your syllabus. There are a lot more details and concrete examples and ideas that you can steal for your lesson plans. It is also in the description. In conclusion, the rise of AI in academia presents both challenges and opportunities. If we take a proactive approach, we can harness the power of these new tools, enhance learning experiences, foster creativity, and prepare the students for the technology-driven world they'll enter after graduation. Oh my God, it's the future. After all, nobody's going to be banning tools at work for being too useful. And if you're ready to redesign your assignments with AI in mind, but you want to follow the footsteps of an actual educational institute, we have a great video analyzing Cornell University's approach to redesigning assignments using AI. You can check it out in the description as well. So that's it. I hope this information helps you to teach your students to always better themselves and find new opportunities no matter what the future holds. Drop a like, subscribe, and if you'd like to learn more about the role of AI AI in higher education, check out this playlist right here. See you in the next one.